Hello, it's Joanna from Off Grid Junk Journals here. I'm just here to share this um, fairy inspired fairy tale junk journal that I've recently done. Um, it's from an upcycled old book and the cover is done with decoupage napkin with this kind of strange and magical design here um, and I've distressed it a little bit. It's the same on on the back and then I've just added some washi tape around the edge I've done some gold embossing um, and then there's a little tag fairy a key I've done these edges these um, brass edges I've also put a little bit of um, gilding wax on them and then there's the spine which is lace and I've also added some glitter Mod Podge all over and then that's been sealed with a little bit of beeswax. It's got four signatures and it measures five just over five inches across by seven and a quarter, just over seven and a quarter inches length. It ties up with this base. So this is done with the hidden spine method, but I've actually glued the spine in. I followed a tutorial from Tracy Fox. Um, so it's it does lie flat, but it needs a little bit of gentle persuasion to do that. Uh, this is uh, some nice paper that I just wanted it to look a bit like the onion skin you get in old books. So that lifts up. And throughout I've used Arthur Rackham images and also H.J. Ford images from the Andrew Lang fairy books. Um, I had one that was literally falling to pieces so I've used those throughout the journal. I'm, I love both those illustrators. Um, so there's, that's Andrew, no that's not Arthur, that's Arthur Rackham, that one. I think it's the Princess and the Pea. Then I've made a little pocket here out of an old skirt. And it says contents there, that's from a book. Bit of William Morris tape there. Then inside, two, two tags. Fairy tale inspired tags. Well, they're more, actually they're more cards than tags. <laughs> um, and then some material. Old doily, once upon a time. That's the pocket there, just made out of some old tea dyed paper and lace. Another Arthur Rackham image with one of my bits of old lace uh, cutouts there from, I think, from a tablecloth that's been tea stained. Another fairy tale image there. I've actually put some Mod Podge um, on some of those just to seal them. And then this is one of the H.J. Ford illustrations from, I think, the Red Fairy book by uh, Andrew Lang, which I think is lovely. And I've made that into a pocket and I've just put a bit of lace on the edge just to give it a little bit more strength. And then that's the homemade collage tag there. There's quite a variety of different papers in here and then there's this other starry paper again that lifts up. That's an illustration from a, I think, a Grimm's fairy tale. And then there's a little pocket here made out of some handmade paper. Another couple of tags, that's actually from Shakespeare's Flower um, playing cards, but I just chose that one, the Mask Rose, because it's got... A, um, quote from Midsummer's Night's Dream on it and that is the epitome of fairy tale um, fairy tales I think so that flips out that's really lovely postcard with fairies on 
and then that's a tiny tiny pocket there it will just fit a pencil in there so that's for like a pencil the pen right second signature now here's another one of the hj ford fairy book illustrations and this is one of um, the lovely sort of collaged digital designs from Mrs. Cog. I think it's her fair. I think it's called her fairy tale design, but um, I'm not quite sure. Sorry, but check out her shop. It's got these fairy designs in, which I think are lovely. So I've used them, and I just put some nice scrap paper on the back. This is a lace collar that I had, so that's made into a tuck spot there. And then this is a illustration from the Goose Girl fairy tale. And I've just added a little tag on the back there with the beginning of the tale there. And some lace. It's William Morris again. This is a little illustration from an old book that I just made into a little door so that opens out and then there's another illustration on the back from the Grimm's Fairy Tale and then this is a flower fairy postcard that I've made into a tuck spot and then there's the Mrs. Get that out. It says magic. That is from Little Red Riding Hood and that is Mrs. Cog again, her fairy tale images. And then this lace band is a little book that I've just tucked in and I've made the two um, paper fasteners there. I've made them rusty using texture paste and ink and then that's just got a few little tea dyed calendar pages in just for a little notebook. Oh I can't turn this over, come on, there you go. <laughs> And then this is Arthur Rackham again, and that flips out like that. And then on this side is, I'll just position it a bit better, is another little pocket with a homemade tag there. And then I've just got an envelope that I've done some collaging on and a little bit of embossing. And then there's another Mrs. Cog's fairy tale tags inside, wishes. And that can just tuck, you could put a paper clip there, but I like just to tuck them. I'm getting towards the end now, just book pages, and here is another one of the H.J. Ford illustrations that I've made into a pocket, and again another one of Mrs. Cog's lovely fairy tale inspired um, collage digital images. And this is um, these are from books again, fairy tale books. I've just made into a couple of collaged um, cards there, journaling cards. And then this is Mrs. Cog again, mystical it says, and then another card made from a book illustration. And then this is Arthur Rackham, one of his fairy illustrations. And then there's just another collaged tag that I've made there with some sari ribbon. That's another illustration from a book. And as is this one, and I've just put some magical um, deer and blossom washi tape down and that is a tiny little pocket, just the lace bit is a pocket that folds back like that. And then here's the end, and then I've got from that fairy tale book, I've got the end. And then this is from a postcard with fairies dancing on the water. 
so that's it. That's the end of my fairy tale inspired book. It's been lovely making it and choosing all the images. And I actually think um, it's quite apt for Christmas time, this kind of book, because it's quite uh, magical. Anyway, I hope you liked it. And if you do, please comment and give it a thumbs up. Um, I've got my Etsy shop details down below. It is for sale in my Etsy shop. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time.